in today's video i'll be showing you how to get a free website and also build your website everything we'll be using on this video is completely free yeah guys welcome to george digitals and it's george today i want to guide you and show you how to get a free website without paying a dime for it and this video is done for the purpose of pushing up love and sharing out love to my community because i really want to appreciate the 208 people that are subscribed to my channel and if you are watching this video and yet to subscribe i will add, join you and i will beg you to join the community and hit the subscribe button so let's dive in so the website i'll be using to get this free website is known as pantheon.io so once you go to pantheon.io let me just open a new tab and do that afresh so we'll go to pantheon.io so once you open it this is how you see it so you just click on pricing so once you click on pricing then you scroll down you look for free you just click on continue with google so once you click on i'll just pick that so i'll select my gmail account so you fill out your details so as soon as i click on continue the next thing i want to do is i want to create a new site so one of the cool thing i love with pantheon is that you can create a uh, two site from them for free so um let's just go about this so just click on create new site so once you click on create new site from the option here you click you select wordpress point you put your website name so uh, let it be a brand name like me my brand name is clipsa clipsa so if you have any name you want to put you can put that then you select the region now this region has to do with where your customers are based so that it will be very fast at that point if you have your customers are based in europe uh, you use european union or australia or canada anywhere then you click on continue so once you do you click on continue to be deploying the wordpress site which is what you are seeing so after that you click on visit pantheon site so after that just click on this place you are seeing site admin So it will take you to this place where you now select the language so once you select i'm selecting united states english then i'll click on continue so this is where i will set the site title that is the title of my site um, the username and the password then i'll put my email address then i'll just click on install so let me do that so once you fill out your detail just click on install wordpress so once you click on install wordpress it will be taking you to the dashboard area so let's just save this so once you are in your wordpress dashboard the next thing you want to do is to know what each of these term you're seeing on your left hand side means so the first one you're seeing here is the home all the dashboard which is what we are seeing and one of the cool features of wordpress is the uh, adaptability of you being able to drag and drop some things like like this you see you can drag a thing to the left drag this quick uh, draft to the right you can drag you can drop and you can also clear the dashboard area if you want so just click on screen option and untick all these things you're seeing here once you untick them they are going to disappear from your dashboard you see so everything is blank no anything in our dashboard area now the place you're seeing is update under the dashboard the dashboard is related into home and the update now the update is where you see i uh, guess to know what and what are uh, out of date that you need to update or upgrade right so um there is what they call the teams and that's what they call plugins if you notice these are plugins and i will explain what a plugin is uh, a plugin is a wordpress software that helps to give the wordpress website uh, extra functionality 
on a norm there are some certain things the wordpress cannot do on its own but if you enable a plugin it gives it that capability or that ability to do them so on a norm the plugin helps to give the wordpress website extra functionality now while the theme on the other hand helps to control the look and the feel of the wordpress website this is what you're seeing here themes so these themes helps to control the look and the feel of a wordpress website so let's just update click on update so if you notice i selected all then i click on update so you see our update is complete so i'll just click back and go back to uh, wordpress update page okay after updating the uh, plugins if you look look at this everything is up to date then the next thing i want to do is also update the teams so i just click on this and click on update teams i select all then click on update teams uh, i know somebody might be asking george why are you updating all these teams now there is what they call website security so you want your website security to be very good you have to update any plugins or anything that is out of date so that your website will be more secure because people can use those um, web plugins that are not updated to maybe hack your system or something. So you have to update your system. Just like your phone, you have to update your phone regularly to get the latest version, which will be more secure and more enhanced. So the next thing I want to teach you is how to create a website for free, which is what we have gotten. We've gotten a website now, which we can give to people and people can visit our website. But if you go to the front page of our website, how do I go to the front page? Clicking on this home icon at the top, right click on it and click on open a new tab. Once we open it in a new tab, this is the link of our website, which is what you're seeing here. This is the link. The one now this is how our website look, but this is not what we want. Because we said we are the best fashion center. That's what we give our site title. to. The things we are seeing here does not even look like a fashion center or anything. So how do we make this our website look like a fashion center? This way I want to show you what you can do and also how to make it look like a fashion center. So you could remember when I told you from the beginning that um, themes are what control the look and the feel of a website. So let's look at how to modify this theme and make this look beautiful. So we'll go back to the uh, back end. So let me explain two things for you before I continue and update the theme. This area you are seeing that has the dashboard, um, the, the update, the post, the media, the pages, the comment, the appearance, the plugin, the users, the tools, the settings, and collapse menu is known as the back end. Why is it called the back end? Because that is where you, as the owner of the website, can assess which um, other users, that is, other visitors of your website, will not be able to see that. Now, if other people are visiting your website, they won't be able to assess the back end. They will be assessing the front of the website, the place that has the beauty, um, the outlook, the beauty and everything is where they will be assessing, the visitors will be assessing. So those, uh, all th that area the visitors assess is known as the front end. Hope you guys understand. So this is the front end, uh, while this area here that has the update is the back end. So let's look at the theme. So how do we get in touch with the theme? We have to go to this place, you see appearance, so under the appearance, we go to teams. So we, we put our mouse on appearance, we click on teams. So if you take a look at this uh, theme, if you look at this, this is what you're seeing here, which is this, what you're seeing in the front end, which I told you that the teams control the look and the feel of the website. So, but we'll not be using these teams. So the teams we'll be using, I will be adding a new team. Click on add new at the top. Okay, the themes I uh, want us to install is Astra, which is this one you're seeing here. But if you're not seeing it here, once you uh, you can just search here and search for Astra. If you're not seeing it, so you can just search for Astra. In case you didn't see it, just write Astra here and it will come out, which is this. So just click on install. So once you install, then you click on activate. So once you activate, Astra is downloaded, right? So if I go back to my front end and I refresh this, just take note, this whole picture and the right top you've seen here will all disappear. So this 
how it's looking now you see our website is looking blank with a message hello world so how do we now start putting things that will make people know that this website is a fashion uh, center or has futures to do that um, there are things we need uh, one of those things we need they need a plugin known as Elementor uh, Elementor is a page builder it's you can use it in building your website so let's look at how to do that immediately so we go back to our dashboard area and go to the plugin section of our website so once we go to the plugin section of our website uh, we'll click on add new so we want to add a new plugin so these are all the plugins we have so I want to add a new plugin so I just go to add new plugin uh, the plugin I want to add is known as Elementor Elementor so Elementor we click on install then we click on activate that's one of the plugins we'll be using for this website then apart from that uh, the next thing I will want to do is to install a template because I don't want us to stress ourselves building from scratch over this I just want us to use an already made template where we can just easily get what we want without wasting much time so if you look at your screen as you're seeing as you're looking at this screen you see you see what you see let's get started with a starter template so let's go there let's just click on that so click on let's get started with the starter template so once we do that we have to install the starter template so that we can have uh, like I told you plugins are used for adding extra functionality to the WordPress website right so we are installing the starter templates also to help help us get what we want so let's do that let's activate okay so once we do that it take us here now there are two ways we can build our website now we can build it from giving an AI tax so in my next video I'll just show you how to use this AI to build your website uh, in my next video so let's just go with the classic method which is the old me method of building website so let's click on build with template so what we want to do is we want uh, to use some template so depending on what you want to build so if you're building for a business you have to give the name of the kind of business you want to build it for a restaurant a real estate a transport a manufacturing pet gardening if you're building for local business you have to select the kind of local business you're building for these are all the kind of local business available then you can also build for beauty fashion spa massage sorry yoga fitness beauty so we are home of fashion so we are going for beauty right we're going for beauty so if you notice all these are the beauty templates you see but many of them here are having a premium meaning we have to pay for them if you're going using the route of the premium version right so let's look for the one that is not having a premium version like this like this are all free so if you look at um, we're looking for the ones that are free right so the ones that does not have premium written on them they are all for free so let's look at how to go about that so I'll be picking this one which is the Christiana stuff so once you select that you can also add your site logo uh, put in a site logo um, a logo that people will see on your website so if you don't have a logo I'll be teaching you how to create a logo in my other video the one I'll be teaching you on AI I'll also be teaching you uh, how to do that so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for that next video so let's go on so you can also pick your color you can pick the color you can pick the color if you notice the color we seen here on this our site is having a touch of red and pink but if you want to change it to blue we can do that you see green you seen right a touch of you understand right I hope you're seeing the color is changing as we picking colors from the left hand side so these are the colors and they are all changing in line with what we pick so uh, we'll be going with this color here um, let me see this uh, no that's too dark 
let's go with this color right or let's just go with the main color of the website depending uh, and also you can also change the font so you see I don't know if you've seen that they are changing accordingly so depending on the kind of font you want to change so which will be good for you you just pick the font and then you click on continue so once you click on continue you have to select the features you want to be incorporated into your site so for this my site what I want for it is um I don't want a donation part but if you want okay let's just go with the donation uh, we also want a live chat where people can chat with us live we also want a video player then we click on continue then we can put our name here and all our information so let's just do that so once you do that you just click on continue submit and it will be installing okay so we are done with uh, importing the website or the template so if you notice this is or this was how our website is nothing is inside just blank so let's just click on view your website let's see so I want us to compare so this is how it works right and this is how our website is now looking wow that's very cool it's looking uh, like a beauty place which is what we've given the name so this is it our website is all looking sweet and beautiful so what if you want to make an editing you want to maybe write and remove all those things so what do you need to do how do you do that so just click here at the top edit page okay as soon as we click on that let's, let's just close this so what we want to do you remember I told you we need Elemental which is a page builder to build our website right so we just click on this place you see edit Elemental okay still loading let's give it a time a bit okay we are here so we just click on close this and this is the site we are having so our site is there is a site so let's say I want to change anything over here I just click on it so let's say I want to change this um, 123 central square new york something like that right so I can do that from here or I can just click here select it I write what I want to write. So let's say I'm writing best fashion center in Africa, maybe. Right? So this is it, right? So Christina's makeup studio. I can I can put our name of our stuff, which is not Christana. I told you it's Clipza. So K L I P Z A Clipsas Makeup Studio, right? So you see, I'm changing now. If you notice, we can these are buttons where people can click. So we can decide to add anything we want to add, and edit the picture, change the write up, and the rest. So we can also change the view, like the mobile view or the tablet view. So this is how it's looking like on a tablet device. Right, so we can also check <coughs> how it's looking like on a mobile phone. So this is how you will see it on a mobile phone. Let's just look to the panel. So this is how you see it on a mobile phone. Um, it's looking beautiful on a mobile phone. So anything you want to edit, any part you want to edit, just click the path. Um, just click. Let's say you want to change the wedding makeup, you can change that. You can anything you want to edit, you just put your mouse there and edit it. So that is just how you do your editing right so just click on publish so the next thing I want to tell you to fix or to put is what they call the site icon which is this small round um, icon you see at the top where you see best fashion so we don't want it to be showing W the W stands for WordPress so how do we do that we go back to our front end so there are two ways we can do that either from the front end or from the back end so from the front end you just click on customize but from the back end, let's say I am at the back end. So 
for you to go to your back end, just click on this visit dashboard so it takes you to your back end so once it opens what you need to do here is just click on this place you see header builder once you click on header builder just go to title and logo just click on that you can remove the logo this logo you see here if you want to do that then um the next thing i want us to do is to add a site icon just click on site icon then click on select site icon um, you can upload your site icon let's just look for one icon to use um, let's just use this one here um, which of them will be better for me so let me just pick one of them here and just click on that just click on select just keep cropping and once we click on publish if you take a look this is what is showing here so if I come back to my dashboard and I reload my dashboard so as you can see this has changed to the logo I added so that's how to do and this is our website in all so if you have any question don't forget to ask me using the comment section and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel um, in my next video I'll be teaching you how to create a mobile app so watch out for that um, and also I'll also teach you how to create um, AI website so those are the two videos I'll be dropping any moment from now so stay tuned. See you on the next video. Bye.